Augustina Pils. Too short to be drinking shitty beer. Welcome to another edition of Bands, Bikes, and Booze Reviews. I have got some of this stuff. This is the Augustina Pils from Bavaria. Um, I don't know whether I've mentioned it before, but the Augustina Brewery do probably the best lager in the world, in, in my opinion. Uh, the lagers I've tasted so far, they're Augustina Hellas is absolutely outstanding i still stand by the statement that it's the best lager in the world you know when carlsberg say probably the best lager in the world they are nowhere fucking near this stuff i urge you to try it have a look on on the channel i've reviewed it and uh i've got a bottle of their pilsner now the pilsner is brewed to an original pilsner recipe which i imagine contains one of the or some of the noble hops the four noble hops um, the Augustina Brewery are also quite sort of big in the Oktoberfest in Munich. They're from Bavaria and uh, they are pretty good at what they do and they've been doing it since I think it's 1328. So, you know, <laughs> they've got this uh, brewing lark down, in my opinion. And as I said, the, the Hellas is absolutely outstanding. That uses a a longer secondary fermentation that um, improves the flavour but it is it's probably one of the best lagers you'll ever taste I urge you to try that but I've got their pills there now which I don't know what to expect so let's stop guessing and let's investigate get the bins on very simple and it is characteristic of the Augustina stuff um, that really isn't a standout label at all. If you have a look at that, you know, it's very modest. Um, the cap is quite good. They make a big thing about the 14, 15, or the, sorry, the 14, 15, the 15, 16 purity law, the Reinheitsgebot. That is on all their labels. Yeah, this is the, the Munich Reinheitsgebot, which was, um, which was the original Reinheitsgebot, and that was in 1487. So the 1516 was the, um, the Reinheitsgebot, which was, you know, widely around, not in Germany, because obviously Germany didn't exist at the time. It was in Munich, in Bavaria, where this all started. Anyway, uh, let's stop gassing and let's start drinking. Um, this is a 330ml bottle, and it's 5.5%. Um, Augustina Brow, that's what it's called, and um, yeah, it is a Pilsner, 1328 this dates back to, now that is amazing, that is some pedigree, we haven't got anything like that over here, over here unfortunately, never mind that, let's get this beer tasted. Cap is off. On the nose, out the bottle. That smells really good. There is some nice bitterness on that, and it smells like. Oh, yeah, there we go now. And there's some lovely sweet malt coming through there as well. But there's also a lot of earthy spicy hops that are coming through there too it smells like a really good pilsner let's get it into the glass i'm using this glass it's not it's not a proper pilsner glass but it will it will do the job it's quite lively do you know what the room is filling with the smell of earthy 
spicy SARS hops. I'm assuming that's what they're using in there. But it's reminding me of um, Budvar. Budvar smell, oh, Budvar smells very similar. Now that to me looks quite light for a Pilsner, a Czech Pilsner. Obviously German Pilsners are a lot lighter, but um, the original Pilsner is slightly more of a copper color. That is a straw, golden straw color. Head is dissipated too, not very much, and there is a, a, quite a lot of carbonation in that. What is on the nose? It just smells so clean and yeah, there's, there's the sort of herbal and earthy notes that are coming from the hops, but there's just an overall clean smell coming from there. It smells amazing. Let's get it down the hatch. Beautiful. That is amazing. That is, wow. That is full of flavour. Now, people who say lagers are boring really need to try some of this stuff. This is amazing. This is just like the Hellas. It's got that huge, and I do mean huge, doughy biscuit malt on the arse end of it but there's also some earthiness which you get on the arse end of it too oh, it's so clean it's so clean and smooth that is amazing and I, I can't emphasize how much malt how much massive malt there is on the arse end of it it's just bread and biscuit mixed together it's absolutely gorgeous there's a, a little touch of like there's some floral lemon flavors that run through this as well it's absolutely amazing stuff and you can just smell you know as soon as you sort of bring it up to your mouth that aroma just hits you it's lovely I mean that it really is and as long as this stuff's being brewed you know your craft brewers over here have got a hell of a long way to go to impress me now I know you, everyone thinks I'm biased and you know I'm oh he don't shut up about you know beer from Bavaria but I'm only speaking as I find, do you know what I mean? And this lager, that, especially from the Augustina, the Paulana stuff, you know, it's no wonder they have a, a festival every year to celebrate, it is absolutely amazing stuff. Slightly coarse carbonation on it, but you know, that's, that's just a minor, minor gripe. It is full of flavour. And as you can see, that is going down very nicely indeed. So I ain't gonna stop there. So what's the verdict? This stuff is amazing, but I wouldn't expect anything less from Augustina. Everything they do is amazing. Everything I've tried of theirs has been a 10 out of 10. And I have to say, this is no exception. This is really, really good. It's, I think it's slightly lighter than the Hellas, if you can imagine that. But it is just supremely drinkable. But, you know, and it goes back to my point. If you look at that, I mean, you could be mistaken for thinking that was a Budweiser or even a, a can of Chang or something like that. But when you when you taste it, super light mouthfeel. But the flavour, you've got that nice earthy lemon 
you know, on the tongue, and then as it goes down, you're just hit with a huge amount of bread and biscuit malt. It's amazing. That is a 10 out of 10, and I urge you to try, to try this. It's on Beers of Europe at the moment, and it's quite cheap. But if you haven't tried any of their stuff at all, the Augustina brewery stuff, get the Hellas and get some of this and get their Edel stuff as well. I think last time I looked, they, they were all in stock. They are all absolutely outstanding lagers. I think if you taste them, this is the benchmark that every lager you drink from now on should be measured against, in my opinion. But that's just me. So yeah, it's a 10 out of 10 and another winner from Augustina. And remember, just like this stuff, beer, is working class champagne. <laughs>